which is why I guess I thought this was such a fun little exercise for, for David. He, you know, I know he likes to pop up there and say, I've got three Bitcoin and no one can prove anything to me and no one can give me evidence or no one can show me the globe, but it's so dead easy. It's just globe science all over the place. Science doesn't prove things because that's not the business of science. Science is not about proof. Mathematics is about proof. It is probably the single most important mathematical idea of all. The notion of proof by circle and line or ruler and compass construction means that geometry can be known about in a way that is different from knowing about physical things and so makes geometry epistemically differentiated. Furthermore, starting from circles and lines alone and constructing a relationship using circles and lines alone makes the conclusions certain in a way that nothing else was at the time. In geometric reasoning, the argument and the conclusions were made supremely clear and evident to the senses. Indeed, the concept of proof, a mechanism that gave a warrant for claiming geometry to be perfectly and absolutely true, made geometry the very paradigm of what we mean true and certain knowledge to be. In effect, in our understanding of nature, true means true like geometry is true. true. Mike Jones or not not Mike Jones is the real Mike Jones or is the Mike Jones that's possibly a sock for Bob the nice guy that you think he is I think Bob the uh, the youtuber is a lying piece of shit
that also doesn't want to go, uh, come and do the proof for proof challenge. But we was just saying a bit earlier, well, the Emma, well, Emma was saying that you won't engage in a conversation about proofs, even. Hi, right, Biv. Have I got you on the thing, have I? All right, la. Sounds good. Coming through. Hi. Can you hear me all right, man? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? You're coming through. I can indeed. Sweet. I can indeed. Yeah, no, look, I, I don't really see a lot of value in looking at the proofs. I mean, fair enough. They're all good and valuable and stuff, but I'm just trying to look at the practicalities of everything. That's all I want to look at. I took some real-life measurements, and that gives me a demonstrable reality. Right. Okay. But, I mean, like, like what you and uh, Dave got with the Bitcoin or whatever, I mean, that's... We we oh, were yeah. more concerned in, in the proof, right? Because oh well, yeah sure we that's what we were trying to understand is like what what is a proof in order for you to be able to hand it off to somebody else I mean well, I'm I'm sure I'm using a more of a generic um, meaning to the word proof it just basically means looking you know, here I did A B C and it lines up in such a way that it that's all it could mean and I guess we call it a proof it's probably not a classical proof as you would in mathematics but. It's, I guess it's a little bit of a, um, oh, you know, like a, what do you call it when you, uh, for a title to catch people's awareness, you know, I can't think of the word for it at the moment. Well, that's what we were trying to get to, the true essence of yeah. the proof, right? I'll oh, take this, I think, me, for, for a proof for me, nobody else, just for me, is, it, it's a process, right? You'd have to take yourself through a process of saying what I'm you're sure, going to yeah. prove, right, and then actually proving it at the end with a step all the way through, right? Now, this process has to be de presentable to somebody, right? And, oh, and, look, I, I understand and that, also, for sure. And also, it has to be able to be questioned and explained so that somebody else can take that on and repeat it and verify it for it to be a proof, right? That's what I think a proof is. Now, how you oh, get there yeah, yeah, from true. beginning to the end true. is is that's what the journey is, right? To teach what a proof is, right? Because you want to explain to me your proof and I want to explain to you my proof. Yeah, and that's look, the I, I just don't want to get I just don't want to get caught up in the the minutiae of just trying to do every little nitty gritty step. I just look, hey, I've got a straight line here, and this line goes across it at this angle, and this one beside it goes across it at a slightly different angle. Therefore, these two lines cannot possibly be parallel. And then you follow on from there to work out they are converging or diverging downwards, converging downwards, and therefore you can work out at what distance they must be before where they actually intersect. So. You're to me, saying, that's a simple proof. Yeah, you, you're saying you have a proof that horizontals aren't parallel. That's absolutely, absolutely correct. Okay, well, see, that's one of the most basic ones that we have as one of our uh, proofs, that horizontals yeah. aren't parallel. Oh, I know. Parallel, I... Right? So, like, for you to take you, us, right, because the, there's definitely now, we're at a point, there are two competing um, ideologies or whatever, right? I say I have yep. a proof that all horizontals are parallel. Yep. Not only definitionally, um, but geometrically and yep. within reality, right? I, I can prove that to you. Which is why I guess I thought this was such a fun little exercise for, for David. He, you know, I know he likes to pop up there and say, I've got three Bitcoin and no one can prove anything to me and no one can give me evidence or... No one can show me the globe, but it's so dead easy. It's just globe signs all over the place. Every... And, um, you know, that's why I thought, well, I'll just have a pop at him. And, of course, he just flicked it straight on and called me all sorts of names and and then said I wasn't even game to take it to um, to Nathan, but he never told me to take it to Nathan. He just um, he just wants it to go away because he think, knows he's beaten. Do you think Nathan would be able to understand yours? <laughs> Oh, Nathan, he will, he will chant left, right and centre at it. 
I, I'm going to poke him a bit harder and make him um, do his gatekeeping duty, which he has re been remiss at doing so far. Do I you, think he needs to actually... Do you think yeah, yours is actually a proof? I think it, de it certainly demonstrates that you can measure the radius of the Earth quite easily. Whether I would call it a proof or just a very good measurement and demonstration, I don't know. I don't really mind whichever way you want to call it. I know the way you're using the word proof is perhaps a little more um, technically correct. But, I mean, this comes down to what QE likes to do with um, the scientific method. He likes to bang on and become really, really precise with scientific method. But yeah. scientists do all sorts of things, man. I've worked in laboratories for many years, and they it's, it's a lot more loose than that. And I know QE will say, well, therefore, they're not being a scientist. They're being a pseudoscientist. Well, in some cases, oh. it's quite justified to just, you know, twist something a little bit this way or a little bit that way but you know you've got the result and you know it's repeatable and verifiable and that's good enough for most people a couple of little things i mean may go along the line of what you consider as your proof like you've got a massive error in that right but you've also just said know a couple of things like uh, it's slightly definitional but um you say measure the radius well you don't understand what well, measurement I guess is. Calculate. Well, I guess calculating. Right, I'm though. calculating. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's I'm one calculating sort of it. thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the other one, I've forgotten. Yeah, I okay. Perhaps I'm not technically sticking a measure on it, but I am calculating it. And I guess in that sense, you've come up with a value for the radius. And therefore, I would loosely say, well, you know, we've measured it. We've right, got well, a value for it. Would you agree then, if we're saying for the proof process, right? Would you go along with my because we've been having it, we've been talking with everybody, right? Along the steps of what a proof is, right? That, that it's a process that you, the person that holds the proof, has to be able to express and explain to a group of your peers, the ones that want to, you know. They want to either verify it or check it or they want to yeah. be able to hold that proof, right? So you have to be able to explain it to them so that they are able to replicate and verify that proof. Now, however you get there, I mean, that's the art of, I don't know, giving proofs or whatever, right? It's the... yeah, yeah, making a rock-solid proof that they can't question. Oh, look, I can oh, understand that's that. That's it. That's it. Um, science. Yeah, you, you can't science geometry. This is purely out of the realms of science. When when people like Fight the Flat Earth and all of that say there's no proof in science. Science doesn't prove things because that's not the business of science. Science is not about proof. Mathematics is about proof. Okay, well, my, my, I... my first response to that is that um, actual scientists and space agencies really don't care about proving anything they they're just, they're just working on the assumption that they're right and they're going to do their science based on that they don't want to do experiments to prove anything because they're more interested okay, in well. advancing humanity and um but science doesn't prove things because that's not what it's about all right so science it's about disproving things well that a scientific experiment is about disproving a hypothesis all right, so if I try to disprove the, the flying ball Earth, uh, am I doing science? Um, if you are following certain steps along the scientific method, yeah. But, I mean, it's an irrelevant question. They're technically right, but, I mean, it depends on your definition of proof and how that goes. Yeah. Um, so the proof aspect is, is um, only within mathematics. Proof only exists in mathematics um, luckily enough that's where geometry is Ge geometry is the foundation of mathematics it it's what founds it and and that's based on logic logic is has to be representable in reality so that's where like yeah. that's where we're coming from right with within the proof process so would you accept that that's a valid way to um Say you have a proof, but you have to be able to demonstrate it. I look, I think if you really wanted to 
write it down as a proof, you would probably want to make it uh, more um, use a standard language or a standard syntax on how you go about doing it for sure. Yeah, you want to make it look and sound like a mathematical proof. But I think this is so simple that it doesn't even really need that sort of treatment. It's pretty basic what we what I'm what I've done here, and pretty easy to replicate. Well, like I say, it is geometrical, and you've made a massive mistake. And I, I would be, well, um, I wouldn't be presenting it to anybody, and I definitely wouldn't be pushing it. Uh, well, look, I've, it's already it's already out there on my channel. I've already told Nathan about it a few times, and I know he's pretty much run away and ignored it so far. But I guess that one day he'll be bored and be looking for content, and he'll probably pick it up and start slapping it around. But it'll be interesting to see what he picks up. I'd have to. I'm going to have to go in a second. But um, I really do want to know what you think is a massive error in in this because I I do want to make it rock solid. So okay, right. Well, uh, have you ever heard of uh, the fallacy of stolen concept? No, I have not. I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, well, I. Fella, I don't I like his like I say this this is more it's better you when we use the Socratic method it's much better if you find the answer for yourself then you'll gain from it I don't feel that me saying anything to you I don't feel like you've got that um you've got that a uh, barrier that you think I'm something I'm not and because you've got that barrier up you won't believe what I say so I don't want to tell you because it's much better if you mm. find it for yourself. So if you look up the, the fallacy of stolen concept and remember that um, your little diagram that you sent to us, like it, it's all yep. there. You, you'll find it. You'll see it. It's, it's the fallacy, at you right of, stolen, fallacy, the fallacy of stolen. The fallacy of stolen what? Concept. Concept. Mm -hmm. no, I'll go and have a look. Sweet. I must. I must away. I will chat with you again at some point. Thanks, we'll get, get everyone on the proof thing, right? We want to know what would be acceptable as a proof. Science doesn't prove things because that's not the business of science. Science is not about proof. Mathematics is about proof. For you guys. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Sweet. Talk to you soon. Bye, man. Sweet. Well, I had some flat earther idiot dox me not long ago. And... Uh, you know, he put out some information that I'm certainly not ashamed of or anything. But, you know, you have to wonder. I'm a rather strategic guy. I wonder if he ever considered the idea that maybe there might be a sock account out there that maybe even did a super, super chat or became a member of one of his channels to earn his trust that was feeding him this stuff in the hopes that he would screw up and post it on his channel and get his channel taken down? God, mm. that would be devious, wouldn't it? Hmm, just, just food for thought. If you enjoyed the content, please support On The Level and future projects. Membership subscriptions are available now. Or come and get involved at Next Level Discord server. Thank you. Yes, this is basic geometry. Your flat earth um, geometry. Flat earth um, geometry. This is basic yeah. geometry. Is. I called you a flat earther. My name's Ramsey. Insisting that your flat earth um, geometry will work. I'm familiar with the bubble, Morty. I also dabble in precision, and if you think, you can even approach it with your sad, naked, caveman eyeball in a bubble of air. You're the reason this species is a failure, and it makes me angry. Did he say a five-sided square question mark? You're a, you're a universal, horizontal waterer. You're drunk. I called you a flat earther. You want to experience true level? Do you? <sighs> yes. You want to experience true level? That our level is establishing a horizontal. That's just the way it is. Because I've done the test with an auto level, which gives you a horizontal. Yeah, it's going to look super flat.
Oh. Oh. Three coplanar oh points. Oh, Christ. Uh, yeah. True level, oh. bitch. We will watch you die. I called you a flat earther. The bend you're into map, there's a certain shape uh, where you could make a five sided square. Are you suggesting that horizontal cash curves? Oh, 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 everything's crooked! Reality is poison! I, I want to go back! I hate this! What's his deal? Go to school, Summer. I'll go in Morty's memory and do a little. Where is he? Come on. That's a glove. He eventually just gave up and said, yeah, I agree, it's a glove. Geodesic is a continuous string of infinitely small, straight lines. Yeah, true level, bitch. He's pretty flat on level now. Ranty, come on. That's a glove. Yeah, true level, bitch. Ranty, come on. That's a glove. Lance to the cosmic slaughter! Well? You seem to be in charge of what I get to remember. Why? Good question. Ranty, come on. That's a glove. I'll go in Morty's memory and do a little. Burn right to the ground in pieces. But from the ashes come. Wow, it's so. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, Christ. Uh, yeah, true level, bitch. Bend your into map, there's a certain shape. Everybody uh, knows that. Where you could make a five sided square. Ranty, come on. That's a globe. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, Christ. Uh, yeah. Oh, True oh, level, oh. bitch. I called you a flat earther. True level, oh, bitch. I called you a flat earther. True level, oh, bitch. I called you a flat earther. Yeah. True level, bitch. Person to think. When you get to the end of this test and you have a result and you say level is horizontal and everyone says big whoop, that doesn't prove anything about the shape of the earth will you then say yes it does no no okay i'm going to bed <laughs> all right okay so you i'm going to bed that level no. is horizontal is good for you then I, right? I agree i agree levels horizontal all sweet right, true level oh. bitch perfect wow nice mate I nice just for that you flipped it man yeah oh. true level oh. bitch oh.